Welcome to Healthy Cooking with Chef Jeff today. Today I have my guest Heather, and she's going to be talking to us about the things she do over at West Georgia Health System. Welcome to Healthy Cooking with Chef Jeff today. Today we're going to be talking about a coleslaw, and I also have a guest today. Uh, my guest is Heather. She's from West Georgia Health System and we're gonna be talking about nutrition and she's gonna fill us in on a lot of good stuff that's going on over at West Georgia. All right, Heather, I'll let you go ahead and get started telling me a little something about yourself. You got right. a good audience We here. do have a nice audience. And you can say hey, everybody can wanna say can hey to say us. Can y'all say hi? Hey. Well, good, good, good. Um, my name is Heather Coggins. I'm one of the dietitians at the hospital. Um, we have five dietitians at the hospital, three full-time and two part-time. Wow. Uh, we have six different facilities basically that we take care of. We have um, the hospital, we have two nursing homes, Twin Fountains and Florence Hand. We also cover hospice and home health care. So there's a dietitian for Everything. all the different departments. Wow, well, that's a lot. So, that's a lot of people. And we food. also provide outpatient services as well. So we do nutrition counseling from an outpatient basis oh, wow. as well. That's a lot of people. It is. So how, how do you uh, take care of the people over there at these different uh, nursing homes you have? You get the uh, menus or what is it you do, patient um, by patient? We have a certified dietary manager over at Twin Fountains and she takes care of those folks mostly. Um, but the hospital serves all the meals out of the main kitchen at the hospital except for breakfast at hospice and breakfast at Twin Fountains and those are cooked on site. Otherwise the hospital provides the meals for all of those different facilities. Roughly 2,000 to 2,200 meals are served out of the hospital kitchen every day. Oh, that's a lot. That's of a people. lot of cooking. And I thought I did a lot of cooking over here. <laughs> wow, wow. So, uh, serving Troop County and serving LaGrange, West Georgia serves a lot of meals out of there. We do. And, you know, it's good to know that, that uh, West Georgia take care of the citizens of LaGrange and Troop County with a nutritious meal. Um, even people who come from uh, around the area that mm -hmm. you may have to take care of. Mm -hmm. Like patients from Columbus. Or right, Columbus, right. So. We get patients for all, and even in Alabama. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. People from Alabama come across the state line and wow. come here that's, as well. That's, that's great. I mean, uh, tell me, um, um, golly, lost my train of thought. That's sad, ain't it? <laughs> I'm in the right place for that. <laughs> But I was going to ask you about some of the other staff members that you have working with you. Okay. Um, we have um, three full-time dietitians, like I said. Um, two of those work in the hospital. Um, one of them, our new dietitian, CJ, um, is interested in food service. So he is doing a lot with the meals and seaboard and changing the menus out so that we have more variety over there. Um, we have one full-time dietitian who works in the hospital who just does clinical and she primarily takes care of the ICU and the critical care patients. Um, another one of the um, full-time dietitians works part-time as an outpatient dietitian. She does um, nutrition counseling on an outpatient basis. Um, she sees about eight patients a day as an outpatient and then the rest of her time is spent doing inpatient counseling. We also have a diabetes self-management training program that we just got accredited about a year ago um, and that is up and running. We have classes every Tuesday night for diabetes self-management training. It's an eight-week program. Um, so that's one of one of the dietitians, one of the part-time dietitians works with that. And then I myself do um, the long-term care. I take care of the hospice and the two nursing homes as well as home health. Wow. So. So let, let me ask you, um, what kind of training you you guys have to go through to do this type of job? Okay. So I'm quite sure that some young kid or young person out there right. that see you guys doing stuff other than being a chef, there's other things that a person can do in the food service industry. Right. Um, first of all, we get a four-year degree in nutrition, um, and then we have to go do an internship that usually takes a year. It can take up to two years. Um, and some of those programs go at the same time. You can do your training while you're doing your education. Um, but most programs do an internship and then a year, I mean a four year degree and then one year for your internship. And then you have to take an exam and become a registered dietitian. We have to be registered nationally and then some states require licensure and the state of Georgia is one of those states that requires license. So I'm licensed in the state of Georgia and I'm registered nationally. Wow. 
That's a that's a lot of schooling. That's a lot of, that's a lot, a lot of work. A lot of work. A lot of work. Yep. It is. Uh, I hope you're ready to eat. I am ready to eat. Yeah. Well, we do Got this. some good stuff here. That's, yeah, that's the good part about doing this. You get a chance to eat. You get a chance to eat. Uh, today we're going to do a apple cabbage coleslaw, um, and that's something that's healthy for us you know, to fit in with what she does. Um, try to keep our residents and our staff members and, and people in the community a little bit more healthier. And today I got a few items. Let me move it forward and get this thing out of my way. That's my grater. I'll be using that later. A um, little seasoning, black pepper, a little dressing, a creamy Italian dressing, a little bit of plain mayo, and a little bit of mustard. Uh, everybody know if you haven't seen the show, I like to change things up a couple of times, and, and that's what I would do. And today, I got some fish to go with that coleslaw, and I got a little salmon wrapped up right here. Oh. Yeah. Y'all like oh. salmon. Yeah, yeah. And I have some uh, apples, golden delicious apples, and a little bit of cabbage. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take all these ingredients. I'm gonna grate my coleslaw. Of course, I may ask for some help if she like. Uh, you wouldn't uh, I'll be, No, not at all. Oh, okay. Put me to work, like uh, she said. Work for your meal? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> work for my keep. Yeah. And also, I have a few other items. I have a little uh, balsamic vinegar here. Um, that just the flavor that salmon, just a little bit. So you don't need to have all those other seasonings, like salt, pepper, all that. All captured in one item. So it's easier that way. And I also have just a little bit of vinegar. I'm not going to use that, but that goes into the uh, slaw. Just a little bit of the vinegar, maybe a cap of it. All right. You ready to get started? I am. Okay. I am. Okay. Let me get you a pair of gloves That'd as be well. Great. Uh, yeah, I should have got an apron. <laughs> That's huh? okay. I don't even have an apron myself. Yeah. Shame on me, right? You know better. <laughs> Well, uh, over you. I don't want to hear you crying. Yes, ma'am. Uh, we're not shed our tear. As long as we don't have any onions up here. Yeah, that's right. That's the more shed the tears. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to give you this. The grater? Yeah, I'll give you the grater. While I, I, I use the knife and slice up a few apples here. All right. And then we'll, the cabbage? Yes. Here we go. Yes. And I probably don't need, but. Mm. Uh oh. I How's that going? It's going well. <laughs> going together well. I like the noise level. Do you think if I hold it next to me, so you can do that? You think I can do that? I think you can. Here we go. Here we go. Well, nice. And what I have here is this apple. I'm going to quarter this apple. Nice and juicy. Yeah, yeah, gotta have a sharp knife, otherwise you cut yourself. Yeah. Thank goodness for food processors. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, you know, those appliances nowadays, we want to take people back with this kind of stuff. Right. You know, so many gadgets out there today that does your food so fast, but when you do stuff like this, you, you appreciate it a lot more. Right, you and you get to burn it. a few calories. Yeah, you do get to burn some calories. Yeah, like you need it. <laughs> <laughs> that she's talking about me need to burn the calories. <laughs> she's so fit to be a dietitian. I practice what I preach. Yeah. Get her some fudge. Get her some. Oh, I eat some uh, chocolate now. Yeah. yeah. Chocolate's good for you, you know. All of us eat chocolate. It's one of those power foods. Yep, yep. And us dietitians like the vinegar too, instead of salt yeah. and pepper. Lemon juice, we like all those things instead of salt. Yep. Well, you know, other things can season your food very well. Right. I mean, besides salt, pepper, even though those things are good, especially salt, is somewhat good for you. It gets your brain cells to go in a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and julienne this apple. You may notice I cut it a little bit different. You know? 
better. <laughs> They're enjoying this. They're sitting back just. Yeah, yeah, this is a treat. This is a, a very good treat. Someone else doing the work. <laughs> You're always good with that, huh? Well, let's see how much you got there. That's perfect. That's perfect. I got a big chunk down there. That's all right. We just set that bad boy to the side. All right. We take them and set them to the side. That's part of it. And when I take. Oh, yeah. Save all the good stuff. Right. Don't want to waste anything. No. We're going to leave this to the side here. And we're going to take these few apples, put over in there. Got a little spatula beside you. And let you mix those on up. And like I said, on that vinegar stuff, I'm going to add a cap of vinegar to it. Uh, like she said, dietitians love it, chefs do too. Love a little vinegar. Uh, but we also like wine too. <coughs> but That's what we're missing. Yeah. Where's a little bit of wine. <laughs> well, right now we can't do that. <laughs> it's not five o'clock. That's right. Yep. But that other vinegar bottle almost looks like a wine bottle. <laughs> yeah, it does. And I'm just going to take just a dash of a little black pepper, add like to it. Like the way he dashes it. Yeah. Well, that was a chef that used to put the whole thing in there. Um, and just a dab of mustard. The moisture to this dressing, this uh, salad, going to come from this. And I'm putting, you can follow that recipe if you want, but recipes are made to be broken. That's right, I agree with that. Yeah, I always say make it your own. Whenever you're making something, make it your own. You make it to your taste. You don't necessarily have to go directly by the recipe unless you got to have grandma's recipe and grandma said do it this way, then you do it just like grandma said. <laughs> and it'll come out right every time. Every time. Every time. Wow, that's looking real, that's real good. good. Give me a minute for him. You know, yeah. Wow. You see that? You see that mustard in there? I hope you can get a good view of it and the apples. And so many people's in the past, they always put a, a relish in their uh, coleslaw. But there's, there's, there's no relish in this, you know and the sugar content going to come from the apple instead of pickle relish. So you're getting your sweet, and you, even as a diabetic, this is a healthy, healthy dish for you. Uh, so in the summertime when you're doing a uh, coleslaw <laughs> and everybody doing their traditional coleslaw, you can take something different to the table. And you know, and change that palate, as most chefs say, change the palate. You know? All right, I'm gonna let this set right there. Okay. I did not use the mayonnaise for a simple reason. Um, I was gonna do another batch of that, mm -hmm. add the mayonnaise without that so they can see the difference right. in the flavor. And with this dressing here is less fat content than the mayonnaise. What's in the first one? The, the first batch, batch uh -huh. it has a, uh, creamy Italian dressing, mm -hmm. and it has, like I said, it has less fat than that mayonnaise does. Now, could right. you change your apples and use different apples? So you can. different colors, like you could do red or you could do green apples in it? Yes, you can. You could use red, green apples, either one of them. Uh, that would be perfect for the recipe. Like I said, you can make it your own, and then, you know, that way it would be a lot funner. You can, this is a recipe you can get your kids, your grandkids also together, teach them how to cook, and Maybe they can use the old tools instead of the food processors and all that. <laughs> Pressing yeah. the button. Right, everything's a button or, you know, stuff like that. But we're gonna take a commercial break for a few minutes and when we come back, we're gonna talk about this salmon I got. Oh. You know, I always said make it your own and this is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make it my own. I'm gonna put that coleslaw and that salmon to work on the plate together. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to Healthy Cooking with Chef Jeff. Uh, as you noticed today, we have a guest, and our guest is Heather. And uh, Heather's is a super person, I must say. Uh, we're gonna talk about this salmon with her too, cause she got, hey, she knows what she's talking about. She knows her stuff. Uh, 
as you can see Heather, I got a little salmon right here. Looks good. Look good. It got good color to it too. You notice the, let me unwrap this bad boy. Uh, yeah, you notice the good color to yes, it. Yes, looks great. Bright white, no orange tint to it. Yep. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little oil to it. I guess I better heat my pan up first. Can't cook yeah. it in a cold pan. That would be kind of hard to do. That's something I There we go. Wow. That's great. That's part of all of it. <laughs> yep. But what I'm what I what I was mentioning earlier about the salmon, I'm gonna cut it into three strips. You know, I'm gonna take some of that coleslaw we got there, especially the one over here. And we're gonna put it on this plate here. I've been touching that salmon. I'm not gonna touch the plate yet. Uh, give my pan a few minutes to get good and warm. What kind of oil are we using? We are using a vegetable oil. It's a okay. blended oil. It has a little bit of olive oil in it, but mostly vegetable <laughs> oil. And like I said, my sharp knife here to cut those nice apples with. And fillet it like so. Uh, a few months ago, I did a demonstration at a person's home and I did salmon. Um, it was her birthday and she wanted me to do a demonstration because she saw it, saw the show. So I said, okay, I'll do it, being courteous. And she had some liqueur there, um, or orange liqueur. And I took the orange liqueur and seasoned the salmon with it. And it changed the flavor <coughs> of the salmon and it brought the citrus out front with the oil and stuff. So, you know, again, that's another way to make it your own. <laughs> Looks good. Yeah, three nice, beautiful layers. Salmon is one of those fishes, if you cut it thin like this, it doesn't take long to cook. Let me change these out. And salmon is a great source of omega-3 fatty acids. Um, what, they, what omega-3 fatty acids are great for is, an easy way to describe them is like um, lotion that you put on the inside of your body. So it makes your um, arteries nice and smooth like you do, like when you put lotion on your skin, it makes it nice and smooth. Well, the omega-3 fatty acids do that with your um, arteries and your blood vessels so that it makes it hard for things to stick to it. So it's harder for the, art the arteries to get calcified or clogged up, which can cause a heart attack or a stroke. So that's one of the wonderful things about omega-3 fatty acids, and salmon is one of the great sources of omega-3 fatty acids. Um, what other fish has that fish that's pretty good like that? Um, your tuna has, the, your fattier fish have, have the omega-3 fatty acids. Um, tuna has some. There are also nuts and seeds that are a good source of omega-3 fatty acids if you don't like fish. Walnuts are the best source of omega-3 fatty acids. Um, flax seeds as well are a good source of omega-3 fatty acids. Flax seeds like almonds and flax, stuff? Right. But flax seeds, the problem with flax seeds is they're so small mm -hmm. that you can't break them apart. And if you don't break the shell apart, you don't release the omega-3 fatty acids. Um, mm -hmm. So that's why they're good if you have them ground up in your oatmeal. Oh, okay. Because that releases okay, the omega-3 fatty acids. It's a good source. But this is a really good source. And it tastes good, too. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm going to drain some of this oil off here. Yeah. I'm right. sorry. I put too much oil. I mean, I'm just keeping it real. <laughs> yeah, this is my fault. I, <laughs> I, I make mistakes, too. Uh, but now I'm going to cut some of that oil with some of this vinegar uh, on that fish. I'm just going to take just a little bit. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> now, with that being said, now I can put my hand on that plate. Alright. And take me a little bit of that coleslaw and put on there. And Do you want it on the side? Yeah, right there. Perfect. Perfect. And I'm only going to put just a little bit. And the good part about this, is that you can eat this dish hot or cold. That looks really good. And Very pretty. A good little lunch. 
for the one day out and you working in the yard and you're tired of working in the yard. You don't want to slave over something. This will be something quick and simple. It'll be healthy for you too. I'm gonna let you try this. All right. I'm gonna take these gloves off too. You know, being a gentleman, ladies first. All right, you sweet. <laughs> Gotta score them brownie points. Mother's Day coming soon. That's right. All right, here goes. That's really good. Yeah, we're gonna be trying that at home, right? Mm-hmm. The vinegar's really good with it. You can really taste it. It's good. Yeah. I think y'all are gonna get to taste some too, right? Yeah. All right. I like it. Thank you. Um, well, I'd like y'all to thank Heather for being my guest today on Healthy Cooking with thank Chef Thank you for Jeff. having me. Uh, hopefully we can have her again. Uh, this is a second time coming to Vernon Woods. Um, thank you. Thank you for having me. This was a pleasure. <laughs> I'll be all for cooking, cooking healthy with Chef Jeff today. Thanks. Mm -hmm.